Okay, some question six in a fun exam review. We're looking at a sort of a kinematics and dynamics uh, problem. Uh, context is a 93 kilogram water skier floating in a lake. It's pulled from rest to a speed of 12 meters per second and a distance of 25 meters. What's the net force acting on the skier, assuming her acceleration is constant? So in this example, I'm looking for the net force, so I could ask myself, what does the net force depend on? So, it depends on, of course, it's the sum of the forces, but we're only trying to, f we don't know any of the, we could figure out the weight force, there would be some buoyant force by the water that we haven't yet discussed, and maybe some drag, so to, to sum up all the forces would be very difficult, uh, since we uh, don't know much information about all the forces, but we do know the F net equals the mass and the acceleration. So this is sort of more, so kind of, I'm given the mass, so we can figure out the acceleration, then we can solve the problem. And the acceleration will be linked to the uh, change in the velocity and this distance traveled. So that's going to be connected to, so if I'm trying to think, I don't have the time interval that's given for this particular uh, change of speed to the figure of acceleration. So I'm going to focus in on the kinematic equations that link A, acceleration, to the change in speeds and the distance traveled, which of course is Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2A delta x. So we know this person is pulled from rest, so that term will not be factored in. So Vf squared will equal to 2A delta x. So A will be equivalent to Vf squared divided by 2 delta x. And now we can solve the problem. So if we write Vf net, it will be equal to the mass times Vf squared divided by 2 delta x. That's 93 kilograms. Final speed is 12 meters per second. And just square all that all divided by um, 2 times the change in the distance of 25 meters and that is equal to 270 newtons and that is the net force sum of all the forces on this skier's body so that gives us choice B as the correct answer